Hey guys, Richard Olden here and welcome to the channel. Here's the question on everybody's mind. What is the best LS cam? Is it the new Truck Norris cam from Brian Tooley Racing? Is it the sloppy best cam? I mean, heck, it's right there in the name. The question is, does the best cam have the chops to take down Truck Norris? In this video, we have the long way to comparison between the sloppy best cam, the new cam, and the Brian Tooley Racing Truck Norris cam, but we also got a lot more data. We're going to compare both those cams on a 5.3 liter and on a 5.7 liter. We're also going to compare the Truck Norris cam to the Torque cam and the Stage 1 Truck cam. Lots of great stuff. Check it out. Okay guys, let's jump right into our comparison between the Brian Tooley Racing Truck Norris cam and the sloppy new Best cam. So we're going to first take a look at a comparison between the Truck Norris cam and the factory 5.3 liter LM7 camshaft. And we're going to first take a look at that because we're going to look at that comparison on two different engine combinations. This first one is a modified 5.7 liter. It's actually a 5.3 truck block that's been bored out to 5.7 displacement, so 3900 bore. This thing had ported, CNC ported, RHS uh, uh, cathedral port heads on it, which I think were originally done by mass. It had the factory truck manifold and truck throttle body on it, the manual truck throttle body. It also had, and this is very important for you guys to remember because this will come up in part two of this video, it had inch and seven eighths long tube hooker swap headers on it and 18 to 20 inch collector extensions with no mufflers or no exhaust. And this is very important, especially at the low RPM part of the curve. So we ran this thing with a Holly HP management system and obviously the air fuel and timing were optimized to produce this kind of curve. You can see the curve is nice and smooth and, and works out very well. And we ran this thing starting at 2100 RPM and ran it all the way out in this case to about 6000 because that's well past the power peak on this combination. So run with the stock LM7 camshaft, our modified 5.7 liter produced 401 horsepower and 432 foot pounds of torque. Here's what happened when we installed the Truck Norris cam from Brian Tooley Racing. Peak power jumped up to 469 horsepower. You can see it gained quite a bit of power. In fact, 68 horsepower from just the cam swap measured, you know, peak to peak. And the gains were even higher out at the top of the RPM range at 6,000 RPM. It was probably 75 or 80 horsepower. We also gained 30 foot pounds of torque measured peak to peak between the stock cam and the truck Norris cam. But what I want you to look at, and this is very important, it's going to come up in the next test where we run it on a 5.3 combination. And also later on in part two, when we compare the different headers and different exhaust systems, because almost nobody would run this truck Norris cam the way that I ran it on the engine dyno. Almost nobody would run it with an inch and seven eighths header, they might do that, but not just a short collector extension. They would have a full exhaust. In fact, they might have cats and all that stuff on there. So what would happen here down low, because you can see in this test, the truck Norris cam actually lost a little bit of power down low compared to the stock cam. But as we'll see, <laughs> that's really because of the way that we tested it, the configuration that we tested these two camshafts on. Again, we're going to take a look at what happens when we change headers and when we change exhaust systems and collector lengths and all that stuff in part two. And you'll see that a lot of this is actually going to go away and it's dependent on the test combination. So now let's take a look at what happened when we ran this same test on a 5.3 liter. Now we're going to take a look at a comparison between the Truck Norris cam and the stock cam on a 5.3 liter. This one was a Gen 4 5.3 liter. It was a DOD delete combination. So they got rid of the DOD camshaft and put in a DOD delete camshaft that the guys from Brian Tooley make. Basically what they've done is got rid of the DOD lobes and made them all the same. I'm told that that camshaft is very similar to the LM7 camshaft. I haven't done a back-to-back -back test on those. This motor as a Gen 4 also had the 243 heads and the late model truck intake manifold. This thing was run with inch and three quarter headers and essentially what would be construed as a full exhaust, and that's very important. It was tuned by James Short. Obviously, he knows what he's doing and can optimize the tune on this combination. So run with this stock cam, this 5.3 liter, and obviously this thing had valve springs in it so that we, they could run other camshafts, but that was the only change. 
So run in this manner, the 5.3 liter produced 356 horsepower, which is very similar to what we get on a stock 5.3 liter from the wrecking yard and 381 foot-pounds of torque. So here's what happened when they put the truck Norris cam in. So you can see the truck Norris cam, just like we in the test that we ran with, a, with the 5.7 liter, power output went from 357 horsepower up to a peak of 409, or yeah, 409 horsepower. Peak torque went up from a peak of 381 foot-pounds to an even 400 foot-pounds. And the important thing is look down at the bottom of the curve. They, they ran this thing, started all the way down at 2,000 RPM, and the Truck Norris cam never lost any, any power compared to this DOD delete cam. So it did very well. Smaller inch and three quarter, quarter headers, full exhaust. And again, we're going to cover all of that stuff in part two of this when we take a look at the effect of changes in uh, primary diameter and collector length and all of that. But on this combination, the Truck Norris cam was basically better than the stock cam all the way through the RPM range with fairly significant gains at the top of the RPM range. And for those guys that are interested, here's a comparison between the Truck Norris cam and the torque cam. The torque cam is in red, the truck Norris cam is in green, and the stock cam is in blue. The truck Norris cam basically is better than the torque cam by a lot up top, which we kind of expect, but it's even as good or better down low compared to the truck cam, which shows the all of the technology that they put into the truck Norris cam, and it's not just lift and duration. There's some fairly cool things going on there. And again, for those guys that are interested in, I'm going to go ahead and add, this is the Stage 1 truck cam. The Stage 1 truck cam compared to the torque cam and compared to the truck Norris cam, the, the Stage 1 truck cam is in red here. It's down quite a bit down low. Um, the torque cam does very well down low, and the new truck Norris cam does equally well down low. The truck Norris cam carries much better at the top, and the Stage 1 cam is a little bit better than the torque cam on the top of the RPM range, but much better through the whole curve. So this truck Norris cam basically is a lot better than either the torque cam or the Stage 1 cam, and, and as, as good or better than the Stage 2 cam on the top, and a lot better down low compared to those truck cams. So now let's take a look and see what happens when we run the sloppy best cam on the 5.7 liter. Okay, we've taken a look at the comparison between the Truck Norris cam and the factory LM7 camshaft, both on the 5.7 and on the 5.3. So now let's take a look at what happened when we ran the sloppy best cam, starting again with the our modified 5.7 liter. It was a 5.3 iron block, bored out to 5.7, had the RHS ported heads on it, truck manifold, stock manual throttle body, inch and seven eighths long tube headers, and short collector extensions. Again, we're going to talk about that in part two. Uh, and our stock motor made 401 horsepower and 432 foot-pounds with the stock camshaft. Here's what happened when we put the sloppy new sloppy best cam on it. And like I did with the truck Norris cam, I'll go ahead and put the specs up so you guys can take a look at that and see. And run with the sloppy best cam. The peak power jumped up from 401 to 482. So we had a gain of 81 horsepower on our 5.7 liter, which is a, that's a good size gain. And especially for a fairly small or, you know, this isn't a, this isn't a 230 camshaft. This is a 219 camshaft. So that's, those are, that's pretty good power numbers from this kind of camshaft. Peak torque was also up to 462 foot pounds from 432. So again, 30 foot pounds of torque. That, that was good. Like with the truck Norris cam we saw a loss down low and from about 3100 and lower the this sloppy best cam lost power compared to the stock cam chef which is not unusual but again we're going to show you in part two with the different header configurations and collector extensions and exhaust that that loss actually really isn't there. It's just a function of how I tested this thing on the dyno. So now that we've taken a look and shown you what the gains were on this sloppy best cam versus the stock cam on the 5.7 liter, let's check it out on the 5.3 liter. So here's a comparison run on a 5.3 liter comparing the sloppy best cam to this was the DOD delete cam on a 5.3 liter run in, on the 5.3 liter. 500 or 357 horsepower with this stock DOD delete cam and 379 foot-pounds of torque. 
Here's what happens when the sloppy best cam was added. Peak power jumped up to 423 horsepower, so good gains. Peak torque was up to 398 foot-pounds. Yeah, 398 foot-pounds. So, and, and as you can see, bigger camshaft, you know, it's making power more on the top end range, kind of. It didn't lose anything compared to the stock cam all the way down to 20... 800 rpm below that there's a little bit of loss it gives us a good indication that this camshaft 219 225 is probably going to work best with some kind of converter especially that crossover point would be higher on a 4.8 liter so it'd be much more even more necessary on a smaller 4.8 liter conversely uh, on, on a 6.0 it, it would be that crossover point would be pushed uh, lower in the rpm range and you would need less uh, a lower stall speed converter on the larger 6.0 liter but this gain the sloppy best did very well picked up um on the 5.3 picked up 67 horsepower compared to a 52 horsepower gain on the um, truck norris cam so if you're looking for more top end obviously the bigger cam is the way to go okay here's the comparison everyone obviously has been waiting for this is the direct comparison between the sloppy best cam and the truck norris cam both of these run on our modified 5.7 liter and you can kind of compare the two cams and decide which one you would rather go with on your combination this is our truck norris cam 469 horsepower and 462 foot pounds of torque and here is what happened when we ran the um, sloppy best cam in the same configuration not surprisingly it's a bigger cam it has more intake duration which is kind of how i rate them it's it's a bigger cam than the truck norris cam and therefore it made more power out on top and not surprisingly it also made less power down low so in my opinion this is exactly kind of what we expected going in looking at the specs of the cam the sloppy best cam made 482 horsepower compared to 469 and peak torque was basically the same for both of them they were both right at 462 but if you look at below 42 or 4300 rpm the truck norris cam was better so it was it's kind of doing what it was designed to do they kind of designed that to to be a truck cam and it's right in the name so uh with you know they're kind of concentrating on more low speed power than running this thing out at 6500 rpm although they most both make pretty good power out there so you'd have to decide where you want to spend most of your time i would think that most daily driven truck guys would kind of lean more toward the truck norris cam and then guys that are looking for more performance oriented deals um, are going to look at the sloppy best cam so it's going to be different strokes for different folks let's get to our conclusion okay guys there you have it the long awaited comparison between the truck norris cam from brian tooley racing and the best cam from matt over at sloppy but before we get going make sure to check out part two of this video series where i compare inch and three quarter versus inch and seven eighths headers and the effect of collector extension length and exhaust on the power curve most specifically the power down low but back to our cam comparison lots of cool data here including testing these cams on two different displacements and comparing the truck norris cam to the very popular torque cam and stage one truck cam both of which i recommend all the time for daily driven truck applications in my opinion the truck norris cam and the sloppy best cam are actually two different applications. I mean, I don't see them as marketplace competitors, but you guys get to decide that. In reality, the bigger cam made more power on the top end and the smaller cam made more power on the bottom end. This is exactly kind of what I expected going into the test. So if you want a daily driver kind of truck cam, you're probably gonna look more at the truck Norris cam. If you want more performance oriented top end power, you're gonna look more at the best cam. And yes, both of these cams are turbo cams. I'm Richard Older, make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell. Do all that stuff. I'll keep testing. And check out part two.